So, Patrick, I'm with South, South Florida Insider, and uh, as we enjoy ourselves this evening, what brings you to this event? Well, uh, Matt, Matt's a good friend of mine. He uh, he has introduced me a lot of fashion, a lot of style. Um, he's actually a neighbor of mine, and uh, we're both, you know, lovers of art. You know, uh, I got into the art, you know, get really interested in art about three years ago, and uh, it's it's become a passion. So anyone I meet that's into, you know, art, in addition to to fashion, you know, it, it's it's a it's an easy contact, you know, easy connection to make. It's a great way to blend art and fashion and music and entertainment together as, as you can see on this evening the event even say the real estate business i mean i've always you know known of real estate guys that got really successful you talk about jorge perez with real estate you know related they always had amazing art collections and really it's as a real estate guy it's easy to understand because it's all about supply and demand definitely and improving you know improving you know spaces making spaces you know pop and so to me it's been a normal correlation you know i i think it all flows together yeah speaking of uh, spaces popping and things of that nature how's the community involvement with your business and things of that nature uh community involvement is probably 15 percent of what i do in my my day awesome you know i uh i grew up in the boys and girls club uh you know playing basketball growing up in that and then i didn't go to college so like me i'm already an outlier definitely and so what i want to be like you hear the song i just came on yes it was all a dream that's it and so it's very important to me to promote entrepreneurship to give back so what i've done is i'm doing a shoe drive where i go to 10 different cities and give away a hundred thousand dollars worth of shoes to the Boys and Girls Club in 10 different cities. Awesome. But we're gonna keep that going. You know, the next one we're gonna do is around art education. Yeah. So growing up in Tampa, Florida, like I would not know what a Basquiat is or a Warhol or some things like that. You just would never, it would never be on your radar. Yeah. And so educating the youth and, you know, teaching them about what's out there and it's actually like a real asset class. Yeah. Is what excites me. You know, so definitely as you say giving back, there's a motto that, you know, some give up, but some give back. And you're definitely that one that gives back to the community and those you come in contact with. I can feel it already. And the environment and the energy that you bring to any environment, I know that it's about you giving back because I, as you said, you know, you've been blessed from where you come from, you know, and so it's important to share that experience with those who are less fortunate. Yeah, I 100% believe that. And I call it selfish generosity. Like literally I've read books, the Bible says it. Like, yeah. you know, the more you give, the more you receive. Yeah. It's better to give than to receive. Yeah, and it is played out that way. Yes. And so, I mean, that's not what it's about, but honestly, when I first started, mm -hmm. it was what it was about. Yeah. I was a young guy, I was making all this money, and I was like, I felt guilty about having a lot of money, mm -hmm. you know, because I didn't come from money. So I would give to charity, I would do all that, and be like, you know, basically, please don't take it away from me. Yeah. So um, I, I really love the fact that your motto of giving back, it, it, it touches those who you come in contact with, and it's important, and I, I see that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. the tricky thing is, is showing a successful lifestyle, because like growing up, like I wanted to see the Donald Trumps, I wanted to see these business moguls on their mm -hmm. private jets and these mansions, is that's what motivated me. Yeah. It's like watching Michael Jordan growing up. Yeah. It was like, that's what motivated, motivated me to be a basketball player, same thing on the uh, the business side. So it's a fine line between showing people your lifestyle mm -hmm. and how you live and how you roll. It's a fine line between that and bragging. Yes. And sometimes people don't get it. Yeah. Like, I don't make a dollar off Instagram. I don't make a dollar off any of that stuff. What I'm trying to do, if I was 15 years old, I'd be like, yo, this guy's got a private jet. Mm -hmm. Where's Patek watches? He's got this. I want to figure out how he did it so I can do it. You know, there's got to be a carrot. It just can't be about money. Money is, yeah. is whatever. Yeah. What you got to figure out is what kind of lifestyle you want. What kind of you know, clothes do you want to wear? What kind of people do you want to associate with? That's what I'm trying to teach. You know, as I sit here in this interview, it's like I feel the joy that you have in how you present yourself to people, knowing that where you come from, because it's almost like in a sense that, hey, you could have this too. Put in the hard work, put in the grind, but you are a reflection of where you come from, and it's important. It's, it's a fact. I mean, look, you can Google me. But yeah, I, I'm far from perfect. Yes, you know? I make mistakes. I didn't go to college, things like that. But 
what I used to tell investors is just what you average $20 billion off of Wall Street and haven't lost a dime, I've made everybody money. Yeah. And because I would sit there and say, listen, I will die on the field before I lose a nickel. I will eat before I make you guys money back. Wow. So that's passion. One of my core values of my company is passion. Passion, integrity, ambition, and excellence. If you apply that to anything, you're successful. Yeah. And, and, and I'm afraid of people losing passion. Yeah. You know, all these people want to sit there and hate on the internet and do all this stuff. Man. You wouldn't have been able to do what you do if you weren't passionate. That's definitely, you know? Yeah, you know, and I live my life by four Ds. Discipline, determination, dedication, and desire. Having those four things, it, it takes you far. You gotta have that discipline. I was discipline. gonna say, just to even be able to rattle off that, like I did, you know, like if you have a discipline that, that you rattle off in your head when times are hard, mm -hmm. that's what separates you, yeah. you know? It definitely, because coming from the battlefield, been in Iraq three times and Afghanistan twice, so definitely, Coming back to this environment and being able to have this conversation with you, it means a lot to me. And I definitely thank you for what you've done. Yeah, you, you made it possible. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank right. you. Great job.